they can make a difference. <laughs> Across Australia, a variety of religious representatives stood next to Muslim leaders and up against anyone who is unfairly targeting them. For us to constantly be kicked out um, because of these headlines, because of actions that people are committing overseas, that's, that's very disturbing and it's, it's unsettling. As Islamic State carries out ever more shocking violence in Iraq and Syria, Muslims in Australia fear Islam is being demonised. There's not really any other section of the Australian community that is called upon to defend themselves every time there's an act of violence overseas. We've been really concerned about just some of the language that's being used, uh, sometimes in the media, sometimes by politicians, and increasingly just in neighbourhoods, in the supermarket. It's shrill, it's, uh, it's relentless, and it's, it's negative. And according to this multi-faith group, it's got to stop. It's the terrorists we need to fight, not our brothers and sisters, our fellow Australians. Speaking on the Voice of Islam radio station, the chief of Australia's spy agency, ASIO, shared his frustration. It just doesn't make sense, and frankly it's an, an outrage to my sense of being an Australian, that we would claim to be fighting Islam. We are, however, fighting terrorism. Our concern is to prevent terrorist crime not to single out any particular community. But many Muslims feel the laws do target them. We hope that uh, we don't see any new rules about uh, new laws. But simply opposing the changes and saying they won't be supported isn't a solution. That's why Muslim leaders will be holding a forum here in Makemba later tonight to discuss possible alternatives to combating terrorism. As for condemning terrorism, the Muslim community and those who support them believe it should go without saying. Danny Isdale, SBS.